Uh, Imran Khan is a disappointment. He's nothing but like the same following the, the army's uh, lead and like taking the name of Islam. Topic, right? Yeah, if you, if, you, if, you, if you take the name of Islam, you know that people are going to start following you and, uh, and thinking. Because you're enlightened supposedly as well, then people had very high hopes of making the kingdom of Medina or something like yeah, that, right? Medina, yeah, Medina and all that. Like, like Pakistan follow the, like Bro, the if, example if, of Medina, if the, right? if, the, if the example of Medina could be followed today, Saudi Arabia would be the first one to do that. They have Medina right there. And they have yeah, the money and the luxury of... of right? E right. So that's why <laughs> it's never practical to bring religion and politics together. It always gonna end up where Pakistan is enough because now even the Muslims they have so many divisions in themselves who, who's the real Muslim who is the real Muslim now like, like looking as unbiased as possible right? do you not feel like religion had a part to play in the unification of Pakistan like the identity of Pakistan because you had all these tribes Hindi, Balochi, all of this and it had some part to play right in the unification of Islam had a part to play in giving the nation identity Make it, you know, in the early years of Pakistan, I forgot your name, bro. Ted. 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 Okay, listen to this very carefully. At the time of partition, Islamic uh, party was against the creation of Pakistan. Yeah. Islam, ja Jamaat Islam. Which one you talking about? Yeah, yeah, that one. Okay. Do you know why? Um, because they were looking for the Greater India, right? Uh, what was the their religious idea. argument for the no, for opposing the creation of Pakistan? Because you're making a religious argument, and here is a religious no, 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 party no, no, no. who's making, opposing that view totally. That, but that you argument. don't know why they oppose it. That's the problem with Pakistanis. They no, make these no. arguments based on the, this thinking that oh, uh, Islam was a unifying factor. No, it wasn't. No, no. It was a unifying factor after the. I'm talking about after the creation of Pakistan. Do you not feel like it had some unifying factor? Because you know the way the West talks about like India's Hindu rate of growth and all that as a derogatory term, but I don't like to use it. But Pakistan at that point, when India and Pakistan were created, Pakistan had a really good future oh, we're like, we're potential, like, right? At that time. So, 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 that, so. That, that, that potential was reached through in part due to Islam and the unifying factor of Islam, the way it brought all the tribes, all the various cultures together in Pakistan. When you're identity. finished, I'm going to yeah. wait. To, okay, sorry. Let, uh, let's just take a quick look sorry, at... Brother, uh, yeah, I know you have... Like how long do you have? Like five or ten minutes? Ten minutes okay, ten minutes. We're not going to go over five, five, minutes, five minutes, to ten minutes, yeah? Okay, so let's quickly just go back what you just said. Yeah. Pakistan, the main source of money when at the creation of Pakistan was from what? was from East Pakistan, Jute. Okay. Okay. So, so the major, major I econ econ uh, the, the engine of the Pakistani no, no, no. economy at the creation was East Pakistan. Were they Muslims? Yes. Was Pakistani Muslim? Yes. You know what the problem was? What was the problem? Why did the East Pakistan... No, no, no. There was a lot of terrible things. Really, you know, like no, what was the main problem? Like the... Uh, it wasn't that, Islam. Was discrimination. It was like, sort of like oh, based, based on what? Based on, based on what? Based on tri tribal no, no, no. Okay, please. You got to know this. It was based on language. Yeah, who that, started? The tribe, right? Who started the issue of language? Do you know who started that issue? I'm not. Qaeda Azam. You know? Yes. He went there and made a speech in 19 like 47 or 48 and said, Urdu is going to be the language of Pakistan, meaning yeah, yeah, yeah. Bengali is gone. Now those people as a national language, right? Yes, and all, as, as, a, as a national language of Bangladesh that we call Bangladesh now was going to be Urdu. That means that people who were there who were speaking Bangla were totally yeah. No, I, yeah. Agree, I agree. There was, so the, there was, there was, it's not about Islam; it's about politics. Actually. Well, it's kind of Islam, but yeah, mostly politics. I, I agree. There was mistakes that were made. Like, no, no, no. Mistakes. Look, look. This is not a mistake. This is the founder of Pakistan creating an issue, yeah. right? So you're saying that if Islam was a unifying force, this problem could have been overcome, but it wasn't any. So when you're talking about... I'm talking uh, majority, sorry. I'm talking more about West Pakistan, right? So like the unifying factor in West Pakistan. No, it isn't. Pakistan, right? Pakistanis are killing other Pakistanis. No, I mean at the time, at the creation of the country, mm. you could okay. have at some mm. point there was, um, Islam did have a benefit in the creation of Pakistan. Do you know when Pakistan Do you know when Pakistan and started also, uh, calling itself the Islamic Republic also, of Pakistan? Yeah, Seattle, industrial city, so it wasn't like Bangladesh is the only source of uh, Yes, no, it was the major source. It was a major source, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was like the backbone of the economy.
Yeah, you don't know that. Yeah, well, look at the history. No, you, if you, if you look at... Yeah, but they, no, bro, like 40 to 50% of the GDP was from there. Okay, sorry. Uh, what was I telling you? Um, I was just going to make a point. Uh, the, the, the creation of Pakistan, like you're saying, oh, Islam was a unifying factor. The people who created Pakistan, the Islamic party was against the creation of Pakistan. And the reason you don't know, the reason was because they gave a, a religious reason. They said, Islam is supposed to rule the world, so we should just not have our own state. We should just rule like they wanted like that whole um, old style, like we'll rule all of India. That's what their also idea was. Like some elements of the Avandis, right, that also feel like um, India is so complicated in terms of tribes, ethnicities and everything. You can't have one religion ruling over it all, right? So. Stop. The areas that are in Pakistan, they were ruled by Muslims, most of them. The governors were Muslims. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they wouldn't have any problem. Anyways, the, the, at, the, at the creation of Pakistan, they said you can, they told uh, Qaid Azam, you can be the president or you can be the main guy to begin with. We don't want to take power from the Muslims away, so you can keep it. And there was an agreement to a certain extent. But just one year before the creation, he changed his mind, before it was going to go that way. So, anyways, the problem with this whole situation is Islam, Imran Khan was supposed to bring a big change completely failed to do it. Why? Because he got involved in the same situation. Like one guy comes and says, like, uh, Kai, uh, what's his name, Ziaul Haq, that he's going to create like this. Uh, what, what was his uh, slogan? I forgot. It was an Islamic slogan. He came with that slogan. Then somebody else comes and gives another slogan. Then Imran Khan comes and we're going to make the creation of the Madina so, government or whatever. Every, so every this country, is the right? story of Pakistan that you guys, because of this intermingling of uh, ch church and state, that you guys have never really figured out that that does not work. And that is why Turkey, why is Turkey advanced? I'm heading there soon. Huh? I'm heading there soon. Okay, right. Turkey is advanced because they took out religion from their politics. They but said that could, any, any, they told the military, any, any uh, leader who comes and talks about Islam, you can make a coup against him. Turkey, they told the, uh, the Turkey military was because he's... advanced in the Ottoman Empire, right? It was Turkey for... No, no, no. After, the, after the empire was gone. Empire after the empire was gone. Ataturk. Yeah, Ataturk. Yeah. Okay, Ataturk, Ataturk but, took out but, Islam but out of the religion, out of Islam the politics. Would, it still would, it, I don't feel like... No, it, it wouldn't have. No, it would yeah, not. It was the man of Europe back then, right? But, and it became very progressive because of Ataturk's policies, which were to get the religion out of politics, which is what exactly what sure, he did. Sure, but I'm saying, I'm saying also, you got to look at how the Ottoman Empire was towards the end of its time, right? It wasn't like the Khilaf, the, the Caliphate at that time. Yeah. It wasn't in the best state anyway. Like it was more like a honorary position, wasn't it? Like for the the Caliph or the Ottoman Empire, it wasn't. Things had changed, right? So it wasn't like the perfect Islamic model. So, okay, so no, if I, I you, you really say that, all right, all right, well, you, you got to go, I, I'm not going to keep yeah, you. Yeah. Thank uh, you for uh, stopping by. Out. We'll talk no worries, next time. I'll, I'll probably be around next week so we can explore this. More. All right, we'll talk more then. Thank you very much. Take care. All right, my friend had to leave. Uh, just talking about how religion and politics doesn't mix. Talking about Pakistani politics. So, anyways, we got to get church and state separated if we want to make progress. That's what Turkey did. That's what Pakistan and any other Muslim countries that want to progress has to do. I'm out.